Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to create this racing team text effect inside Microsoft Word. And it's a very simple effect. So even if you are a beginner, you should be able to follow along. Now, the inspiration to this effect comes from this image on the Freepik website. But obviously, there are some limitations of what you can do inside Microsoft Word. So I have to adjust it accordingly. So let's get started. Uh, let's start with the blank new document. And the first thing I will do is I will set the layout to be landscape. So I'll jump to layout, orientation. And in here, I will set it from the portrait to landscape because it will give me more space to work on. So now it's set to landscape. The next thing I want to do is to insert the text, but I will not type writing like this, but instead I will create a new text box. So I'll jump into the insert menu and in here I will select shapes. And in the basic shapes, I will select this one, which is called text box. So I'll click this one and then draw the text box in any size on the document, like for example, this one. And I want to type in the first line of my text, which I believe was racing. So I'll type in racing and I want to use some fancier font. So for that, I will jump to the DaFont website and I will download two fonts. I will download a font called Aereo and I will also download a font called Soloist. So I'll click the download button and then install it. I already have this installed so I can jump back to Word. And while still having the text selected, I can jump to the home ribbon and set the first line to be the font Aero. So Aero for the first line and maybe use some bigger size, for example, 72 or maybe even more, maybe like 90 points. And you can see that I'm using those two buttons. So increase or decrease the font size, or I can just type in the number in here and press the enter key that will work in the very same way. I also want to make this board center aligned. So I'll click this icon, which is for center alignment inside the box. So I'll click this. And I also want to have this center aligned in the vertical position. So I will select the shape format tab. And in here, inside the text alignment, I will select the middle. So it will align it to the middle in the vertical space. If I click outside, you can see that we have a text, but the text box still has the outline, which we don't want to see. So I'll try to click on the text box itself by selecting this outline. And in the shape format, I will open the shape fill and make sure that this one is set to no fill. And then I will open the shape outline and again, make sure that this one is set to no outline. So there will be no outline and no fill for the text box, only our text. What I will do is I will duplicate this text and I can do it in multiple different ways. For example, I can jump to the home ribbon and select copy, which is this button and paste. And it will create me one more text box. I can also do this with the control C and control V. Or I can also drag it by dragging this outline with a control key press that will also create me a copy. In all the cases, you have to make sure that the text box is selected. So the outline is not dotted, but solid. So we have to click this outline to have a solid line. Instead, you might be just copying the text, which is not what we want. We want to copy the text box, not just the text. So with this done, I will select this text and type in theme. And of course, I want to somehow position it accordingly. So it's like, you know, next to the G and maybe use the other font, which was called Soloist and maybe make it slightly smaller. So I will, for example, go with 72 points. Let's move this around just a little bit like so. So it's like on the center of the page and we can start adding some colors. And I believe I was using green color for the first line and the pink color for the second line. So I'll select the first line, which is the racing, which I have to, of course, click this. So select racing and in the font color. So this is this button. I will click this arrow to open the drop down menu and click more colors. And I will try to find some green one, which is very shiny or bright. So maybe this one will work well for the second line. I will do the same thing. So I'll select the theme and again, open this drop down for the font color, select more colors and in here, locate some shiny or, or very bright pink color. So maybe for example, this one might work well. Now at this point, we want to add some outline to this text. So what I will do is I'll right click this outline and select format shape. This will open me this side panel. Where I can set some options. So I'll jump to the text options and in the text outline, I will set this to solid outline. Now, watch what happens if I start increasing the width. So if I set to fit, for example, for 10 points, it doesn't only add the outline to the outside, but it also adds it to the inside. So what we ended up is some strange looking label. So this that's definitely not what we want. We want the outline to be only on the outside, but unfortunately there is no option in here. So what we have to do instead is set the no outline for this text, but we will create a copy of this text and add outline and move it below this text. If it doesn't make much sense, don't worry, we will, you will understand it in a minute. So what we want to do is to create a copy of those two lines. And for that, I will close the format shape for now. But instead, I will select the select tool and select selection pane. So that's on the home ribbon. I will click the select button and select selection pane. And here I can see all the elements that are on my page, which is this first line, which is the racing text and the second line, which is the team text. 
Now I will select both of the objects by clicking on the items with the control key pressed and that will select me both objects. And same as the last time I will create the copy. So in the home ribbon I will click the copy button and then I will click the paste button. So now we have four different text boxes, so two for the outline and two for the actual text. Uh, let's not worry about the position for now, so I'll move it maybe to this position, but instead I will select those two. So for those two text boxes we want to add the outline. So in the same way as before, I will right click and select format object. I will select text options and for the text outline I will add the solid outline in the very big size. So for example, I don't know, maybe like 30 points or so. And I want to set the color to be black. Now you can see that it completely covered the text, but we don't care about it because we have another copy which will be placed on top of this. So I'll jump back to the selection pane, which is this button, and select those two text objects and move those above the outline, maybe like so. And you can try to align properly, but I think that in this case I will probably just make it slightly offset. It probably looks better in this case. It may also be a good idea inside the selection pane to rename those individual elements to know which is which. So I'll double click and say this, this is the black outline and this racing text is also the black outline. Now if I quickly jump to my previous document, you can see that I actually have one more green outline and we can easily do this as well. All we have to do is to select those two black outlines and select copy and paste. So we'll have two more copies of the same element and then I will move it in the selection pane all the way down so I'll drag those to the bottom of the list like so and then of course inside the page I will move it on the very same position as the black outline like this switch back to the format shape and make this a different color so for example the green one and increase the width to maybe 35 or maybe 40 points to be slightly bigger than the black one now while still having those two objects selected I can move those with my mouse or I can also use the arrow keys on my keyboard to have a very small adjustments and make sure that it's aligned you know properly together with the black outline. Same as the last time it might be a good idea to jump back to the selection pane and rename those properly. So this is the green outline and this one is also the green outline. Now if we compare to the original document there are still two things missing and there is this kind of texture inside the text and the background image or the background splash. So let's start with the texture inside those letters and this one is actually pretty easy. So I'll zoom in as much as I can so I can nicely see those individual letters and then I will select both text boxes with the text that's actually visible so this theme text and the racing text. And again I'm pressing the control button while selecting the items in the list to select both at the same time. Now it seems like that I don't have the format pane visible so I'll right click and select format object and in here I will select the text options and now I will select text effects which is this button. I want to add the shadow so I'll open the shadow if it's not being already opened and select one of the presets that has the inner shadow so for example this one. So select this inside top left inner shadow and it will add the inner shadow for both of those labels. We don't want to have any kind of blurs so I will lower the blur to zero points and I will actually want to offset the text more to the right side so I will set the angle to be around 180 or actually exactly 180 so that will move the text to the right side and I want to increase the distance quite a lot so it will be moved and create some kind of special pattern inside. Now the black color is nice but I will most likely go with the white one so select the color and set the white color and maybe lower transparency so it's not that visible so maybe around 69 or 60 percent. Then I can play with the distance to get some kind of interesting pattern inside the text although we already know that this is not some kind of pattern it's just the shadow being offset too much so it doesn't look like shadow anymore and I'm pretty happy with the result. So the only thing at this point is to adding some kind of background and for that I have found this image on the free images website so I'll click the free download and it should download it to me in the downloads folder. Jump back to Microsoft Word and select insert pictures from this device so I'll click this device. Here locate the place where the image was downloaded, select the image and select insert. That will insert this into the page but we cannot move it around until we right click and select wrap text and select behind text. And now we can move it around and we can even resize it if we want but I think that this size works well so I will just try to position it somehow below the text like this and I think that we can call this done so I'll close all my panes, zoom in so it's nicely visible and we can call it done. Let me show you one more thing and it is how to change the text because if I select the selection pane you can see that each label is made from three elements so there is this text which is visible, there is this black outline and there is this green outline so we would have to replace all three texts and we can actually do this very easily by selecting this replace button. So in the home ribbon I can select the replace button and I can try to search for for example racing and let's replace it with motorsport. 
the important thing is clicking the replace all button so if i do so word will tell me that it made three replacements of course for the text for the outline and for the green outline i will click the ok button the close button and we have a very different logo so that's how you replace the text if you want to i will jump back and call this done thank you very much for watching i hope you have learned something new if you have any comments please put those down in the comment section and i hope to see you next time thanks and bye